Welcome YouTube, this is Danielle and you're watching Fly Girls Manifesting. So today I'm talking about a buzzword that everyone's using, this thing that we call manifesting. It's becoming a buzzword and I'm looking at things on YouTube, I'm looking at stuff on social media and I'm like, okay, cringing a little bit because what it looks like to me is that a lot of people are getting manifesting with the laws of the universe completely confused with manifesting just in general they a lot of people think that you have to learn how to manifest and the truth of the matter is is that you're always manifesting things throughout the day throughout the year throughout the hour what we are talking about on this channel specifically is deliberate manifesting that is being clear about something that you actually desire to bring into your life or to express and actually seeing it come to you in fruition. So the technical definition of manifesting is to make proof of, to show proof of something, to make it evident, to take it from an imagination and actually see it tangibly in front of you. That is the literal term for manifesting something. And so because we are all energetic humans, beings, we are manifesting nonstop. You will never, ever not be manifesting. So manifesting is occurring all day, every day. Now, what is manifesting when it comes to the community of us who do information and that teach people about how to bring your desires into fruition, that's very simple. A lot of people go throughout their day and they just kind of let their thoughts run on a, a wheel. They let their thoughts just run rampant. They let their thoughts just kind of spiral down into this negative, you know, just, just a, a, a cesspool of just negativity. And then you wonder why your life is not going in the direction that you want it to go. And it's because your thoughts are creating the emotions and the energy that requires you to do what you do. You have to be internally inspired to do something in order for it to come into fruition, right? So manifesting something very specific has to be done with clarity. It has to be something that you have decided that you are willing to focus your energy and your thoughts on wholeheartedly and not let yourself be swayed by your negative emotions, your negative feelings, your negative thoughts. And I tell people this on this channel all the time, your thoughts are what are creating your world. You can test this out. If you stay tuned until the end of the video, I'm going to give you a very simple technique that you can use. And it's another thing too, like I've been watching a lot of uh, manifesting coaches and stuff and a lot of people are starting to turn against the law of attraction. And I'm not sure why that is because the law of attraction is just one of many laws of the universe. And it really is what, what um, resonates with you for you to be able to use it to create the life that you want. I don't care how you get there. If you feel like you need to turn around in a circle and spit on your, your stuffed animal four times in order for you to manifest something or for something to come true for you, then that's just what you're going to have to do. But the truth is, is that you manifest things through your actual beliefs, whether you believe it's going to happen or not. And how do you get yourself to believe something? You say it over and over and over. You think it over and over and over. You feel it over and over and over until your subconscious mind actually accepts it as fact. Now, a lot of people are talking about the law of assumption. Uh, with Neville Goddard's teachings, he has become extremely popular in the manifestation community. And I think what it is, is it's, it's a trend, but I'm telling you the information really is solid. I've known about the law of assumption for about five years. I've used many laws of the universe, the law of rhythm, the law of vibration. There's so many different concepts of how to really understand your true power my goal here on this channel is to help you understand which way you resonate with. Because I've, I've done them all. I'm telling you guys, I've done them all. 
And right now, currently, what I've realized is that your thoughts are the number one thing that create your reality. It doesn't matter what technique you use. It doesn't matter what you do in the morning time and the night time. If you only practice something once or twice throughout the day, but you're not monitoring your thoughts, you're not going to really see your manifestation coming to fruition. So how to deliberately manifest? Let's talk about that. First and foremost, let's get get clear. Let's say you want to manifest a car. When you want to manifest a car, be specific about the type of car that you want. Do you want a car that is used? Do you want to buy it from the lot um, brand new? Once you get clear about the car, and I mean down to the T, what make and model is it? How does it look inside? I am manifesting right now at this point a, um, a black Honda, maybe a 2015 up until current, 2015 up until current Honda with um, leather seats inside. It has GPS. It has um, all the fixings and the trimmings. I even um, went online and I looked up the make and models of, of the different ones. And I've just been visualizing that and seeing myself in the car i'm going to be test driving the car next week so i'm using this as an example because it's actually something that i'm working on right now and i've actually manifested a car before and i did the exact same thing you have to know inside and out what the thing that you want to bring into fruition looks like down to the smell down to seeing yourself driving in it what, what are you listening to? Hearing inner conversations with your mate or your significant other. These are all things that help you to tap into the energy of bringing things to you. That's why a lot of people say the law of attraction, you send out your thoughts and your vibration and then things um, come back to you in the sense of intuition you'll get you'll get inspired to go check something out or you'll get inspired to walk in a certain direction and you'll see a car for sale synchronicities um things that that you normally wouldn't pay attention to now all of a sudden you're paying attention to that you walk by somebody and you hear them talking about the type of car that you want those are all things that are letting you know that you have impressed upon your subconscious mind a wish or a desire that you plan to bring but how do you deliberately do that you have to immerse all of your senses into what it is that you want and you have to do it consistently. I'm not talking about once or twice out of the day. I'm talking about literally it has to be the only thing that you think about. You have to think about that thing about 95 percent of your day and you don't have to do it like, oh, I'm just going to think about a car all day, all day, all day, all day. But you you would you would want to be feeling as if like when you're on the bus, just be like, man, I getting my car next week. Whew. I won't be won't be on this bus anymore. You know, like just things like that. Or um, when you go online, make your screensaver for your computer, your car, because that is also still impressing upon. It's reminding you that you have something that you expect to come into your life. So here's what I would say. Test out how manifesting works, deliberate manifesting, not just letting things come in your life and wondering how they got there. There are so many ways to get to this, but the number one way is to change your thoughts and your inner conversations with yourself about your desire. Also too, we're gonna talk about self-concept on this channel a lot more because what you think about yourself and what you think others think about yourself also changes the way that you go about taking action, because if you don't feel like you deserve something, you don't believe that it's possible, you're not going to take the necessary action for you to actually go towards the desire. And then you're going to get, oh, I don't know why it's not coming. It's not coming. No, the law of assumption says that you must persist in the assumption of the thing that you want until it hardens into fact. So there is no room for you to doubt with the law of assumption because you focus all of your, your energy, your thoughts on believing that it's going to come no matter what. So you repeat your affirmations towards your desire until it hardens into fact. You assume that the thing that you desire is yours and you live as if you already have it. The law of assumption. 
it's a beautiful concept that a lot of people are just catching on to. Your girl here, I've been using the law of assumption for many, many, many years. It's also too, you can say instead of the law of assumption, you could say I intend. Let's say you're having a bad day and, and your mother pissed you off or your husband pissed you off or the cat pissed you off. I'm, I'm using random people in my life. None of these people have pissed me off, but I'm just using them. Let's just say one of them kind of got on your nerves and in your mind, you're cursing them out or you're having a, a conversation with them. Rule number one, you do not have inner conversations with people in your brain if you do not want to have those conversations with them out loud. If you would not have the conversation with them out loud, because when you hear yourself talking out loud, you're going to see how negative you are sounding. So your inner conversations with someone, let's say, that's getting on your nerves. I can't stand this person. I don't know why they do this all the time. You would have to change that. And, and the assumption would turn into you know what? It's my intention that my husband and I, we're going to have an amazing day. It's my intention that we're going to actually sit down and talk through whatever our issues are, and then we're going to keep it moving. We're going to laugh. We're going to joke. We're going to have a glass of wine, and it's going to be a beautiful night. Every time the thought of, of him comes to your mind, of him being annoying, you keep saying no. I'm going to assume that he and I are going to have a great conversation. We're going to end up laughing and joking and we're going to have a good night. And every time the thought comes that it's going to be something of the contrary, you persist in the assumption that what you desire to happen is happening. It's already happened or it's going to happen. You don't allow the thoughts to turn negative or against what it is that you desire. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about what manifesting is and what it isn't, the law of assumption or the law of attraction, drop down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you be a part of the team, a part of our tribe over here. We are manifesting things deliberately. We are no longer letting our thoughts rule our life and our reality. We are taking control of that and we are learning how to deliberately bring things into our life and we're learning how to harness our own true power because you can have anything in this life you want if you're willing to focus and be clear. You guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.